I make jewelry that incorporates artifacts from ancient cultures. So how did I get interested in this? I've always been interested in history mm -hmm. uh, from earliest days and um, over the years I got interested in collecting ancient artifacts and I you know I have a collection of artifacts in that cabinet but they're they're too big to string um, but I realized that some of them are some of the smaller ones would look very nice as a centerpiece of some jewelry mm -hmm. so um, I just started that's you know I just uh, when did you start um, I started about eight months ago hmm. and uh, really got hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever thought of myself as an artist? Mm, not really. I mean, I've made things before, but the idea of intentionally creating a work of beauty for the purpose of adorning one's environment or one's person is brand new to me. And it's very charming. It's very addicting, really. I just, I, I call it uh, bead world. I can get lost in bead world and uh, forget to eat and forget to go to bed. And it's just very inherently charming to put together something that is more than the sum of its parts. But on the heart level, I just love working with these ancient things. I mean, think about the odds of being in Fairfield, Iowa in 2013 and holding in your hand an object that is maybe 2,500 years old that yeah. was clearly used by some person, individual, back in the distant past. I, I, I just find it very fulfilling to work with these ancient objects and to um, basically try to create a beautiful setting for them. Mm -hmm. And I'm sensitive to the culture it comes from in order to design a setting that shows it off rather than um, overshadows it. Mm -hmm.